Sunday to you, grade 2 learners! It is another day of fun and exciting learning experience. Another learning opportunities that are about to happen while each one of you are staying at the comfort of your home. I am Teacher Jam, your science teacher, saying, let's learn while we're having fun. In science too, let's learn as one. Welcome to our virtual classroom, young scientists. For this day, another learning opportunities that you are about to learn. After going through this episode, you are expected to 1. Predict what may happen in case one or more sense organs are impaired or lost. 2. Suggest ways of showing love and support to differently abled children. I have prepared activities to make our lesson more exciting and enjoyable. So, get ready with your pencil, paper, learning module. These things are important as we go through our lesson. Looking back at your previous lesson, you have learned the different ways on how to take care of our sense organs. Why is it important to take care of our sense organs? Very good! Taking good care of our sense organs is important so that we will be free from any diseases and out of any danger. Our sense organs are very important. Each one of them functions that is helpful in our everyday lives. We use at least one of our five senses every moment of every day. That means that in every work or activity we do, we use our five senses to complete a single task. Just like what you are doing right now, you are watching this lesson with the help of your eyes or your sense of sight. At the same time, you are listening to this lesson with the help of your ears or your sense of hearing. Our five senses are on duty even when we are asleep. Interesting, isn't it? They work together to let our brain know what is going on around us. But what do you think may happen to a person in case one or more sense organs are impaired or not working? Come with me and let us find out together. Did you know that there are some people or children like you who do not have the capacity to understand the world in the same way as you do? They might not be able to see, hear, speak, walk, or feel things the way you do. Such people are called as differently abled or special people. Differently abled people are people having a physical condition which makes them unable to use a part of their body or the five senses. Our eyes are one of our sense organs. They are important because it allows us to see the things around us. Look around your surroundings. Are you able to see the beautiful sky and the green nature? If so, you are beyond fortunate for having such healthy eyes. There are people who suffer blindness or loss of eyesight. A person who suffers loss of eyesight is called blind. This time, we will play a guessing game. All you have to do is to guess the name of the sound. Are you ready? Guess the first sound. What did you hear? Very good! It is a sound of a running water. Guess the second sound. What sound did you hear? Yes, it is a sound of typing on a keyboard. Guess the third sound. What sound did you hear? Correct! It is a sound of a coin falling on the ground. 
Can you guess the fourth sound? What is it? Yes, it is a sound of a thunder. Guess the last sound. What did you hear? You are right! It is a sound of a walking steps. That ends our short game, kids. Did you all have fun? I bet you are. I am so glad that you participated well in our activity. You did a great job in guessing all of the sounds correctly. You are able to hear and understand things around you. Did you know that while you are enjoying the things with the help of your ears, there are some people who do not have the ability to hear or understand things as you may do? A person who suffers loss of hearing is called deaf. What objects are shown here? What do these pictures tell us? Do you have any idea? Just by looking at them, we can tell how bad or pleasant an object smell. Do you enjoy the pleasant smell of a ripe mango? How about a garbage can? A smoked cigarette? Or a bath soap? We are able to smell everything. From the pleasant smell of a food to a bag full of garbage. But did you know that there are some people who are unable to smell? Yes, you heard it right. There are people who are suffering loss of smell. Their condition is called as anosmia. A person who suffers loss of smell is called anosmic. It may affect them temporarily or permanently. Do you have any idea what is shown in the picture? You are right. These are called crutches. Do you know what are these for? Very good! Crutches are walking aids for those people who do not have the ability to walk. Lame are those people who do not have the ability to walk. However, we should avoid using the words deaf, blind, and lame in their presence. It is considered rude and it might hurt their feelings. This time, we will have another short quiz. All you have to do is to rearrange the jumbled letters to form the correct name of this ability. First word, a person who is unable or cannot walk properly. What is it? The correct answer is lame. Second word, a person who cannot see properly or lost his or her eyesight. What word is it? The correct answer is blind. Third word, it is someone who is unable or lost his or her hearing. What word is it? The correct answer is deaf. Last number. It is someone who isn't able to smell. What is it? The correct answer is anosmic. Differently abled or special people need care and encouragement. Children should not tease or make fun of them. In fact, we should help them in all the possible ways. There are ways in which we can help people who are differently able. Here are some of them. Number 1. Help them with their studies. 2. Spend time and play with them. 3. Respect them. 4. Encourage them to take up hobbies. 5. Help them when they need it. Let's see how caring and concerned you are by doing our next activity. Make sure that you still have your pen and paper with you. Directions. Read each sentence and put a star on the line 
of each number if it shows care and concern to differently abled children. Put a triangle if it's not. Number one, respect people with disabilities. Is it a star or a triangle? Very good. The correct answer is star. Second number, hang out with them. Is it a star or a triangle? Very good. The correct answer is star. Third number, laugh at someone because he or she is blind. Is it a star or a triangle? Very good. The answer is a triangle. Fourth number, caring differently abled persons will make them happy. Is it a star or a triangle? Yes, you are right. The answer is star. Fifth and last number, allow others to bully them in school. Is it a star or a triangle? Correct, the answer is a triangle. You did a great job in answering all of our activities. Give me a high five. Today, we have learned the different types of disabilities. We also learned some ways and how to show care and concern to differently abled children. Now that we're finished with our lesson, it is time for you to work on the assessment on your module. You may ask help from your family members to help you with your learning module. Once again, this is Teacher Jem, your science teacher, saying, let's learn while we're having fun. In science too, let's learn as one. <laughs>